welcome to Chopped Rage Cage Edition. I want to introduce you to our first contestant, Nicholas Sevilla. Come on down. Oh. How long have you been cooking? <clears throat> About uh, 17 years. Now, what's your favorite animal to cook? Uh, that would be the pork chop animal. <laughs> what animal is that one? Like dirty pigs. pigs. Dirty pigs. Dirty all right, all right. And uh, any, any words of wisdom for your competitor? Uh, I hope you're not pigs there. Mr. Kevin Grumman. And how long have you been cooking? Uh, since I was out of my own. The early age of five. And your favorite animal to cook? Uh, probably the ones that swim. The, Fish. the swimmers? The swimmers, the swimmers. yeah. We whip out and whip around in the water. He can't swim, he's here to pluck out of the water, all right? You want to make out? Yeah. Whoa. I've already moved the judge. I think I'm on this show. Whoa, this is this is a big reveal of ingredients. This is the first time the contestants are seeing these ingredients. So you have corn chips, <laughs> pepper jack cheese, mangoes, and a kiwi. That's what we can. Oh, oh, looks like Nicholas is in luck. We've got some pork. <laughs> Red peppers. And the contestants are ready to go. And go! And there's a moment of panic as they have no clue what they're doing. He grabs the knife. Opening everything's a good start. And we have a visitor. Emma, what do you think about this? Nom nom nom! Just... See the sweat breaking out already. <laughs> oh, we've got raw meat in action. Oh, keep that away from the non-raw meat. Don't do that in my face. Oh, oh, something down. Just gave me a really crazy idea because I smelled like syrup or something. Where did that come from? The bacon. It's maple. Oh, oh, oh. There's also bacon. Not quite sure what's going on over here. We'll be impressed. The first ever cooking show with a microwave. I'm gonna eat some of it. I'll be fine. I got a response to that. Oh, he busts out the blender. Secret move with this. Emma, want a red pepper? Hey! Woo! Yeah! I'll chop out the tip. <laughs> I think we're gonna. Uh, what's it called? And you brown the fruit. Caramelized? Caramelized! That's fancy. Not as fancy as microwave bacon. Dude, look. look at that can opener. Magic can. They make utensils. You should use one. What are your comments? Ah, my comments are I strongly abide by the motto safety third. Are you eating? I just ate some when that broke apart, yes. <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> Starting to smell like bacon. Emma's excited. Ah! It's hard to do with the camera on. <laughs> Where's the cheese? We might need some firemen. We have over here a sort of little uh, hors d'oeuvre type situation going on. What's oh, hot, motherfucker? Motherfucker. <laughs> we gotta get in there and squeeze it. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is this guy thinking? I, I, I was not aware that you do things like this. Like cook? Yes. <laughs> Added bacon to it. It's kind of like my secret weapon for dessert. Uh, I think we have a violation here. You're crossing the. Uh, what is that? That's, 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 that's not mine. That's, that's my shit. Cut that. I didn't cut that. Maybe I cut. No, that's mine. That's yours. Why is this me right now? No. Got more bacon on the last minute. I don't know if these pigs are gonna cook in time. Oh, these are my pigs. It's these the highest balls. quality pork you cook with. That's right, this is absolutely... Ooh, we got an apple. Oh my god! Oh. I just oh, cut an apple. 
Pretty. Got like four minutes left and I'm like finished, man. He's over here stressing out. He's stressing out. He's like, oh god. No, oh shit, no. I'm a pickle stick. <laughs> He's going into the oven again. What is he crazy? Three minutes left. Oh nah, there's some in there. About that. Did you oh, miss an He doesn't love peppercorn cheese. If you don't love peppercorn cheese, you're a terrorist. It's pepper jack. <laughs> Any more peppers? 20, 20 seconds. You don't have time is up. You may have to uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk to our first chef here. Well, we'll talk to Mr. Kevin Grubin. All right, well. What uh, do we have here, sir? We were said my premier view, one of my specialties is burritos. I make burritos, and you know, they're all encapsulated. You got all your meats and cheeses and veggies all wrapped up meats. in a nice, convenient, easy to go container, but it's homemade. It's not like Food. So in this, I used uh, the burritos, crumbled it up so you get some crunchiness to them, and also chopped up the, the maple bacon, made it nice and crispy, add in there so you get some crisps to it, and mm -hmm. I have the rice and the red peppers. Ooh. So it'll be a nice, you know, warmer, spicier dish. Be complimented with dessert. What? Should I have the mangoes, which are caramelized, you have some this? sugar, Whoa. with bacon bits, chop on top of that, and some apples, so you get like two fruits and <laughs> Then you get some sweet salty bacon in there, <laughs> all with chocolate. All right, Nicholas. So, what have we got here? First thing I saw tortillas, I'm thinking Mexican food. So I'm thinking <laughs> I gotta make something Mexican, and I'm thinking what do I got with me? I got cheese. Cheese and tortillas, those are like this. And nobody just wanted to eat different cheese. So I was like, what can I add to that? I love beans, so I add beans. I put beans, I put the cheese on top. I toast that for a while. Then I'm cooking up bacon, and I put some bacon, and I take those red peppers, I'm thinking, oh my god, salsa, salsa, cheese, oh my god, we are so Mexican right now, we gotta go Mexican with this. So Mexican. We make a little salsa out of the mango and the peppers, and then I throw in a little bacon, and then and I put a little spice in there, and then and then I put some burnt bacon all around it, and then mm. all of a sudden I was thinking, oh, you know, if you just want to dip that, maybe it's not, you know, beautiful, maybe a little guy. These are pieces of fried, more Mexican food, a, a tortilla, or a, I'm sorry, tortilla, <laughs> right, a tortilla. My producer over here is telling me I'm an idiot. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> Our judges panel here, we're ready to judge this feast that the chefs work so hard and so hard for. On my left here, I've got that Escobo Joe. Welcome. Hey. Welcome. And on my right here, I'm Joseph Stalinstein, a uh, famous executive chef uh, in the New York chains all around America. And uh, I'm just a superstar, don't worry about it. And uh, we got our categories here. We got presentation, creativity, taste, juicy ingredients, and sex appeal. So with our hors d'oeuvre over here. Oh, the plate's hot. Very hot. The plate was in the oven for a while. I gotta get, I gotta get, I gotta get a mango. A little bit of everything. A mango and a little burnt bacon there. Do you see a seed? This could be very spicy. Bacon. The salsa is very nice on top of blend, blend, blend you made. I'm really enjoying this one. The beans are a little overwhelming. There is a tad too many. Mango seems to have absorbed a lot of the uh, bean, the bean and spices. Very important to cleanse the palate with alcohol. Yeah, I'm uh, between dishes. Uh, you know. Next we have uh, Kevin's dish. It's a burrito. Yeah, with your hands or your fork. Almost reminds me of a breakfast burrito. Because breakfast. And the chips burrito. are broken up and very nice. I can see how you were saying it's a, a sauce would complement this, I think. Yeah, I think it could use a yeah. little sauce on the side. 
Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Chef Chef Kevin had uh, one, two. Pies. I got, I got a hand one, dessert. Just, just to get this done everyone, in that time limit. Knocked everyone's thoughts off. We were talking about caramelizing the mangoes, but I would like to see a little more caramelization. I'm totally Seems all well thrown together. But we saw him standing around with so much extra time. He should have used that time. He should have used that time. <laughs> Well, if we give him the benefit of the doubt, because <laughs> his, his neighboring chef got some food. bacon on fire. But where's some food from the neighboring chef? When we come back from this commercial break, we'll know the final score. Uh, after uh, a, a, a tough deliberation, the judges here decided that they were, through effort and uh, sure sex appeal, both men showed courage, bravery, courage. and uh, most importantly, Sex appeal. So we, we both tie here, and this is going to be a the first tie for the first edition of Race Street Ragers Chopped. You got more sex appeal points. <laughs> what did you do on Friday night? Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I, I like to thank every, every now and then, and, uh, you know, a couple of bitters for one. Didn't have bacon and chocolate. Emma! Bacon festival? Um, <clears throat> I'm really bad at this. I don't know why it's happening. This is not good. Can we solve this? Can we just do a little quick stop on this real quick? We're just saying how the bacon and chocolate was really good. <laughs> Speaking of force, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm so biased. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> Should I be on the reel? <laughs> oh, let's get crazy. It's weeper time. <laughs> Alright, serious face. It's quite an astounding chef walking in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite. Mm -hmm. Takes years of practice to master setting the stove on fire with me. <laughs> First I heard time. you call it diarrhea. What, I, when did you hear me call it that? <laughs> this is so biased. I am calling shenanigans on this whole out thing we're doing here. 